Hi everyone, this is a quick update um, of the circuit that I previously tested and uh, what I've done is uh, I've been noticing that uh, this circuit utilizing the coil once it gets on when it's under load it draws uh, less current and uh, what I've done is I've taken out the second resistor that was in series and now I only have one resistor here so we have now a 1k ohm load and we'll be looking at that right now my signal generator is connected directly to the bridge rectifier this is the same uh, identical circuit here this is the circuit in question that we are um, testing right now and the uh, coil is now removed out of the circuit and it's going directly to the full wave bridge vector wire so the primary and secondary is removed and the connections from the signal generator is directly to the full wave bridge rectifier. I don't know if I can make that any clearer, um, but I think that's clear enough. So the idea here is looking at the same, uh, comparing the same voltage on the load. And we have 4.25 volts, okay, on the 1K ohm resistor. And the draw is 8.6 milliamps. AC and my probes are still connected to the scope and this is what the scope shot would look like and this is the data and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these uh, leads to the coil. So hang on, I'll pause the camera. Okay, the uh, signal generator uh, is now connected to the uh, capacitor here. Here's the negative, here is the hot wire, and now the bridge rectifier uh, AC side is connected to the secondary coil which has the uh, capacitor also in series here. And um, that uh, coil here has been measured uh, to be actually 90 uh, millihenries and um, 33 ohms. And this coil is actually uh, 80, I believe, uh, millihenries because of this core ins inserted in it and still at 8.3 ohms. Anyways, um, I've got it tuned so that I've got exactly again 4.25 uh, volts uh, at the 1k ohm load here. So this is an exact comparison to with a signal generator directly feeding the uh, full wave bridge. And what I've been seeing is things get better. The more load there is, so resistance for instance, the less current it's drawing compared to the uh, signal generator directly to the bridge. So we are now at uh, 5.33, well it's probably a little bit closer to 5.3, it kind of fluctuates. And um, we're getting 4.25 volts at our 5.3 uh, milliamps used and this is the scope shot here and there is the data and I've written down all the data here and this is the previous test and what I've done is this is a uh, previous test here was at uh, 2k and here is the 1k uh, test 
So we were at 6.65 volts with a 2K ohm and utilizing 6.5 milliamps. And with, believe it or not, <laughs> a 1K ohm, we have 4.25 volts, okay, and utilizing 5.3 milliamps. So it just keeps going. The less resistance or, you know, the more the load is, the less the uh, current draw is. And there's our uh, probe voltages and um, probe 2, which is uh, across the 1 ohm uh, resistor. And these are millivolts, so 19 instead of 20, 5.3 instead of 5.6. And here below, this was our prior test with the 2K uh, resistor. And this is it with the 1K resistor. So we're at, I've tuned the voltage to be exactly at 4.25 to compare it to the same above. And uh, it takes 8.6 milliamps to maintain uh, that load. And here above, it takes, as you see, 5.3 milliamps. So there's more significant saving there when it's under a heavier load. And this was a 24 volt uh, input and uh, 7.1 RMS. And obviously I've tuned down the signal generator uh, output uh, level so that I match that 4.25 volts there. Okay, so it was feeding 14 volts peak to peak and 4.69 RMS and it could only charge that capacitor and load uh, up to 4.25 volts and utilizing this amount of current. And this is what's measured across the 1 ohm resistor on the 1K here. 40 uh, millivolts, okay, which is uh, more than double what it is above here, and 8.8 uh, .8 millivolts uh, RMS. And this was the prior test here with the connection straight on the 2K ohm load. So as far as I can tell is um, the more uh, resistance uh, is on there, the more efficient the uh, circuit will perform. And that's kind of interesting also. I was noticing that when I would put the uh, resistor uh, or start the circuit, I was noticing when it's coming straight from the signal generator, it, the draw would start up high on the milliamps and then start lowering as the capacitor is filling up. And it was doing the opposite when I was using it from the coil. It was starting at a very low draw and working its way up as the voltage is filling up in the capacitor, which is kind of like the opposite of what we're really used to seeing. So anyways, I thought I'd share that and uh, like to uh, hear uh, what your opinion is uh, on this. Thanks. Bye now.